Hello, Simple Tech Buzz back with this Momentum 3 Wireless 3 from Sennheiser. And this is our third installment of this range. Now, we haven't tested the previous ones, so we can't compare them to them. So, we're just going to be talking about them and how I found these after being used them for a while. And let's talk about them. So, they are, they do have a little bit of a bigger profile, but they fit really well. They're really comfortable, and you can see the branding there. And you can also see the LED lights in the back, left and right, in your connection points there. And you can see the infrared part, so you have auto play and pause, which is excellent. So you have all that kind of stuff there. And they have this new kind of wing tip built inside as well, which gives them a real secure fit. Now, when you put them in your ears, they offer a really good level of passive noise isolation as it is. So without going through any features of the app, which is excellent, um, you're pretty much good to go out of the box as is, but of course with the option to change your equalizers and all that kind of stuff, you can get a better optimal experience. And with Sennheiser, you wouldn't expect anything less. So they are a little bit big, they'll stick out a little bit, they have a bigger profile as you can see, but they work well. Your touch control area is there where the branding is and it works quite well every time, all the time. And when you're doing your taps for your commands, they don't like push in your ears or anything like that. Like some earbuds you might have noticed, or if you've, well, you wouldn't have tested as many as me, but sometimes if you're ha tapping, they do kind of put a bit of pressure on your ears where these don't. So fit, comfort, and all that kind of stuff is good. The sound is the next thing, and the most important thing, which I think most people look at these reviews for, these are superb. Um, they are up there with the likes of the Jabra Elite Pros, and with the Liberty Sound Course, which I still use today, and the Jabra, and you've got the Neobuzz Pro, the Jabra's there, and the sound cards, so they're up there with the top, it must be said, and fair play to them. They've brought out a good product, and you know, incrementally every year products get better, and these, as I said though, to be fair, I can't judge on previous, but I think I did test the one before, but um, for me, just test them without testing the previous ones they are excellent so coming from other high-end earbuds i know what i'm listening to i know the difference between crap and rubbish and these aren't either these are simply quite very very good to put it simply so with your music um we'll go through the equalizers because everyone has a different kind of taste you've got lovely bass there if you want bass your highs lows and mids are fine for music they're excellent um yeah and films as well now, I have moved to a movie mode listening to a lot of stuff because I found it better for my personal taste. Um, but as I said, we have a look at the app there. You can, I can show you all about that. And you can hear cars going by, people in the background, background noises, all that kind of stuff there. Voice, it's excellent. And you won't be complaining if you buy this. Let's put it that way. And again, calls are good as well and nice and clear. So, in general, they're an excellent pair of earbuds. Um, but the thing is, everyone's ears are different, it's like their eyes, but having checked all the latest earbuds out that there is, they are up there at the top, and that's simply put. And you can't really get better than that, so it depends on what you want to spend and what kind of brand you're into. Some people are brand loyalists, I'm not, I'm kind of like everything. I give everything a shot and give everything a chance, and that's it. So let's go on to the app and have a look at that. So... You can see there that we're connected now with full battery and connected to my Galaxy S22 Ultra. So in your equalizer here, as I mentioned, um, I'm on movie, so you have that there. But you can edit that by going in here and dragging the sliders up and down. You've got bass boost and podcast mode as well, which is excellent. So you have all that kind of stuff there. So you can connect to more than one device, which is fine. So in your sound check here, you can create custom sounds which i've done already and you go through this here and you can pick between these three different layers and each one so you can go this one here and this one here and that's pretty much what's in there let's go back in here so we go back yes okay transparency mode you've got um off with music and pause music so you know what transparency mode is you can listen to what's going on around you if you want and you can just pause the music or have it off if whatever suits yourself. So sound zones is zones where you have different t different parts of where you might be working, all that kind of stuff. And you have got your gym, your home, all that kind of stuff in there. So you'll have in your 
this would work on location as well so <clears throat> i'm not going to go into that to show where i am so you have in here then you've got noise control your equalizer and when you're leaving your zone and you can set them up there to whatever suits you the best okay touch controls <clears throat> Here we go. So, like with previous earbuds from Sennheiser and most of them today, but uh, these have got a really good app, and you can see here what you can do, and you can edit these. So, you can restart default, you can volume down, volume up, noise cancel, and previous track, but you can change these. So, if you go in there, you'll do that there, and you can see that you can edit them from whatever spot you're in which is excellent and that goes for just go back up here so if you go back over here just disable it and turn back on you can restore the default so all you have to do is to change is to pop in here and you can move these around and you can select which works best for you and they work really well as I said because they've got a nice surface <laughs> They have a larger surface than other earbuds for touch controls, which makes them work better, you know. So it's a big sense to vary if you want to put it that way to simplify it, which makes things a lot easier compared to some other earbuds. You might see in the earbuds have done done recently, which were like half the size it is, but it was a bit more of a complex issue. Um working them and then I had another pair, but I had a kind of concave kind of uh, design on them so your finger would direct straight in. But these are a flat surface, but easy to find when they're in your ears and work quite well so you can see here you can change your noise cancelling as well your volume up volume down your voice assistant all that kind of stuff is there which is excellent and works really really well so for example on the right side i'm just going to pop pop it in there Triple tap will bring up your voice assistant there, as you see. And if we go into a music, we'll tap it too twice just to show you here. So we go into our, so we go into our YouTube music, like so, and we'll just press play. You can see skipping, and you can see reversing there. So that's basically how they work. They work really well. No problems at all. So you got your volume there as well, which I mentioned earlier on. All that stuff is there. And you just tap and hold for the volume up and tap and hold for the volume down. Now, that's going to be different for everyone because they might have different settings um, on how they prefer to set these up for themselves. And that's just basically how that works there. So that's it in a nutshell. The Sennheiser Momentum 3 are excellent earbuds. There's no doubt about it. And really good, great ANC as well. You know, you have good ANC, which is I like, and you know, they're again up there, one of the best with the ANC that's out there today. And that's really about it. And I can recommend them quite easily. And but they are a bit on the more expensive side, but you have to pay to play, as they say, and you get what you pay for. And you're getting what you pay for with these, but there is cheaper out there that's that does the same job, which is the thing. And that's the problem with the market. There's too many earbuds out there, but there's a lot of choice for consumers. So the Sennheiser brand is a well-known brand. It's it's a really good brand too. And, you know, high quality. So, you know, there's as I said, there's brand loyalists. They're good money, good for the money. And, you know, it's a really cool case as well. I like this cloth feature too. It's a nice case too. And that's basically it in a nutshell. So if you want to pick them up, you can. It's up to you at the end of the day. But for me, they get a thumbs up. And that's it for now. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And again, thanks to Sennheiser for sending these over. they seen this review the same time as you are. Didn't pay us any compensation or give us any editorial input either. What you see is what you get from techbuzzorn.com and nobody else. And that's how we work here. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.